Now I'm gonna do video. So I'm gonna go press that button. Uh, if you go down on the trim button, it starts getting video. If you go up, it takes a picture. Uh, let me see. Let me let me set it like this and take. Okay. So yes. Yeah, so I think that took a picture. So I'll display it. Um, and uh, let me uh, let me take it up. Let me I uh, just start the video. So down. Okay. So it should be getting video there. So and let's give it a try. Let's uh, see how it see how it does. So I'm gonna kind of <clears throat> I'm gonna be try try to be smooth with it. And uh, let's see if we can get some video with this thing. Man, but it is very smooth. Very smooth flyer. Really, really liking it. Let me go back here and just come come around. Yeah. So hopefully we're getting some video. But for something this small with a camera, man, that's very cool. Ooh, it did something weird there. All right, I think the wind kind of kind of took it there. Yeah. And there's not a lot of wind, so I don't know how this one's gonna handle with the wind, but right now the wind's about three miles an hour, so not bad, but it's doing very well. Now, I can, I can already, um, I've been flying it for maybe three minutes, and I can already tell the battery's getting sluggish. So, I'm gonna bring it back. Hopefully that was a good show there for the video. All right, I'm gonna bring it back over here to me. Okay, and I'm gonna stop the video. All right, so that should be a sub video, and I'm gonna take it up, and I'm just gonna take a picture, and see. I'm just gonna take it way up, or you know, I don't know, that far up, right there, and uh, take a picture. So hopefully, it took one picture. So it took a few. So we'll see. All right. So before I run out of battery, I'm gonna try the headless mode. So that's with this button up here, the left shoulder button controls the headless. Um, and uh, just to help it out a little bit, I'm going to remove the camera. Ready to go. And uh, let's try some headless now. Let me go to the second rate. Here, I really like that second rate with a nice fast yaw. And uh, wow, yeah, it, and with a camera off, it's even a better flyer, even, even a quicker flyer. Very nice. Let me do some funnels here. That's the funnels with it. So pretty cool funnels. Nice fast funnels. A little speedy copter here. Nice. Very cool. Alright, so uh, headless. So let's point it this way. Alright, and alright, so should be in headless. It just keeps beeping. So let's see. Oh snap. Okay, no. It, it just started. Um, it just started going in that direction. I don't know. It it lost. Um, it lost orientation. So let me turn it off. Okay, turn the headless off, or the one key return is what they call it. Um, and uh, let's try it again. Let me see. Okay. So once it's up in the air, it starts beeping. So let's see. I'm gonna. I'm gonna turn it towards me. No, I don't. I don't know what this one key return is supposed to do, but it's just okay. It's kind of doing it. Um, let me see. Yeah, like I have it pointing. I have it pointing. All right, so I'll show what it. I have it pointing me right now. The copter is pointing me, and if I go away from me, it goes away from me, and if I go come towards me, it comes towards me. So it does seem like it's working. Um, it, so um, that's cool. That works. I mean, it, it might be helpful to someone if, if they're going to lose control. I have found that um, I'm going to turn it off. I have found that that uh, one key return or headless is a cool feature to try out, and, and but it's not something you can really rely on. A lot of times, if you are going to get in trouble and the copter is going to get away from you, by the time you activate one of these features, it can just even make it worse. So I just I try to keep the copter closed and fly it around. So let me fly it around some more uh, here without the camera, and um, and just uh, just show it off a little bit. But um, <clears throat> see how it does. Just gonna. So like I said, um, with this little copter, you can be very precise. Um,
it's nice I really like it and this one's not very pricey either it's not not pricey at all if I remember correctly this was 20 some dollars if, if, if that with a camera um, and nice flying ability nice flying characteristics I think this would be a good good start out um, camera camera quad for someone not really with a lot of experience because uh, it looks like it can take a good beating this little copter and uh, and it's a nice flyer so that's cool that's very cool Woo. <laughs> and uh, and flight time seems to be doing pretty well um, so I finally drained the battery down on the little copter um, very happy with this little copter this this uh, the JJRC uh, H98 very cool uh, I really really like it so you can see there the the uh, LEDs are blinking they start blinking once your once your batteries drained uh, I, I'm guessing right now I got about five to six minutes flying it so guys uh, thank you again for watching this uh, you know just let me know if how, what you think about this little copter if you have one what, what you think about it or if you're planning on getting one um, and remember to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already subscribed and uh, thank you guys for watching I'll see you later. Bye-bye.